The 2024 general election is now heating up as we get a clear picture of what you'll be voting on this November. Dr. Lee Hanna, political science professor at Wright State University, joins us live this morning with a look at yesterday's primary results and what they mean moving forward. Lee, as always, we appreciate you stopping by. Let's start with the U.S. Senate race. We now know it's going to be Bernie Marino versus Sherrod Brown. What can we expect from that matchup? Uh, yes, so uh, Marino took that Trump endorsement and cashed it in. He won by a much larger margin than I think most people expected. Uh, people thought Matt Dolan would be a little closer, um, but he's going to now start to, to pivot. You know, he really kind of ran to the right to pick up that endorsement to get the support of you know Republican stalwarts like J.D. Vance and Ted Cruz and Mike Lee, and now. Oh, you know, he needs to, to win this general. Um, you know, he uh, last night he made a statement about Sherrod Brown being in politics since Richard Nixon. So I think his you know, theory of the of the victory is to push at Sherrod Brown as a career politician. Um, Ohio's becoming more Republican, et cetera. Um, Sherrod Brown has already um, you know put some some uh, you know ads out there and some comments where I think he's going to really press on Marino's past as a business owner. Um, I think you may see some similar stories coming out, kind of like what we saw with Mitt Romney back in 2012, where uh, maybe he didn't, uh, you know, they'll find examples of him not taking care of his employees, um, being out of touch, et cetera. So I think that will be one of the, the lines that will be drawn, certainly, you know, around social policies like abortion. We'll see, um, you know, a lot of uh, ads and talking points about that too, I'm sure. This is the second straight Senate race where we've seen a Trump endorsed candidate take the lead yes. here. And, you know, Matt Dolan, he was backed by uh, Governor DeWine, former Senator mm -hmm. Rob Portman. Are we really seeing a changing of the guard in Republican politics here in Ohio? Uh, yes, absolutely. And it's happened even at the county party level um, where the, the party, I mean, you can go back to uh, Trump rooting out Matt Borges uh, and getting Jane Timken in as the Republican Party chair in the state to see that just slowly over time, uh, the party has looked more and more like what Donald Trump would, would prefer. Um, and uh, I was surprised that DeWine endorsed. He did wait quite a bit, and Rob Portman came in late as well. Uh, my thought was they wouldn't have endorsed unless they, they saw some data that, that made them think Matt Dolan had a chance. Um, and, you know, the data they saw, it, we don't know exactly what happened and why Miranda won by such a large margin. My guess is a lot of it has to do with people tuning in pretty late and using that shortcut that Donald Trump has endorsed this guy. Donald Trump's talking uh, for this guy in Dayton, so I'm going to go make sure I vote for him. Um, but it does look like they're going to have a hard time uh the, the DeWines and, and others are going to have a hard time um, holding on to control. And we'll see what happens in the governor's race in a couple of years uh, in the state. I think that will be a strong signal. I think it also explains Frank LaRose's behavior in recent years where he has determined that you have to be further to the right um, to, to continue to hold office. Um, if you look at Frank LaRose and the way he talked about policies and everything else in 2018 compared to where he is now. Um, you know, he sounds like a different politician. And part of that is reading the tea leaves and trying to be out ahead and in, um, uh, in, in where the party uh, loyalists want you to be. Now, we mentioned Trump has a hold on the party, but there's still some Republicans holding out. An NBC exit mm -hmm. poll yesterday said 11 percent of Ohio Republican primary voters will vote for Biden in November. Uh, real quickly, do you see this becoming a problem yeah. for Trump? Um, certainly. I do think that there um, people are underestimating how many uh, people he has has lost um, of, of those those folks who maybe voted for him in 16 and 20. Um, it's hard to know in Ohio because it's pretty easy to pull a Republican ballot. There wasn't much to vote for on the Democratic side. So there's a chance that half of that number is just Democrats who wanted to vote for um, the Republican ballot because it was more interesting. Um, but I do think there is some work to do outside of kind of his, his um, hardcore supporters. Um, and, and I don't know, it, it, everything I've seen so far, it doesn't seem like he's pivoting like we normally expect from candidates, um, like I expect from Bernie Marino. So we'll see. Good stuff, Lee. We will be talking to you yeah. plenty over the next couple of months as we gear up for the November election. We appreciate you. Absolutely. Thank you.